If you need to go 12 and 0, complete domination, Evo cards, and other grinding services, go contact Rose NBA on Twitter. Link for that will be in the description. If you want cheap and reliable NBA 2K21 MT, go contact safembamt.com and use code WITNESS for a 5% discount. Yo, what's going on, guys? Witness 2K back on NBA 2K21, my team on the next gen. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I built this squad right here just in one weekend, on the weekend of which was the My Team Festival. I'm gonna show you guys how I built this pretty impressive squad without spending $1 on the game. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel with your notification bell turned on and drop this video a like right now for more no money spent tips and tricks. Now, first glance at the squad, some of you might disagree, some of you might agree. I think this squad is amazing for just one week of playing. We may even make a few changes in this video as well. First, I wanna tell you guys how this idea all came about. This isn't even my account. I had this idea when 2K started talking about uh, My Team Festival and it looked like it was obviously gonna be a weekend full of content, which is exactly what it was. So I was chatting to a sub of mine who recently just got 2K on his PS5 and I ran the idea past him and he was like, we can do that on my account because this, is, this isn't my actual account. But he was like, we can do it on my account. Uh, do whatever locker codes come out, whatever other two, whatever whatever other things 2K decide to do without spending a dollar, see what squad we can make after the weekend of my team festival. And at the end of it, this is what it looked like. Really freaking good. Diamond Jarmoran as the point guard now. That is from the locker code, this Diamond Jarmoran, if you're able to land him. Really, really, really good point guard. He is so freaking good for a free card. So that's where Diamond Jarmoran comes from. Clay Thompson was from a locker code. So there, we got probably about 20 locker codes this week and I posted all of them on my channel. Um, but this one right here, we were able to land a finals pack and actually pull a free amethyst clay thompson now that card right there also sells for around 20 to 30 kmt which is solid these ones right here now to buy the packs that these cards came from cost vc and there was no vc board on this account so it was just bought with mt from whether we're playing the game or anything like that i'm also going to show you guys a method or two on how you can make some mt in this video but um, these cards aren't too expensive, but the reason that we decided to get these players on the squad was because they are limited. There is under 10,000 of these cards um, total on PS4 and PS5 or Xbox Series X and Xbox One. There is under 10,000 of these cards worldwide. So I thought hanging on to these cards until they thin out on the auction house and reselling them later could be huge for making MT on a no money spend account. Now, if you agree with that idea, you could definitely do that yourself. These cards are still cheap on the auction, relatively cheap. So if you were to pick them up now, wait till the auction thins out of these Ruby cards and cards like I'm most confident in Giannis could definitely go up in value. To have a budget LeBron, Giannis or AD is huge. Um, we have Steph Curry right here. Now these are from when the token market was open and you could buy the packs to get Steph Curry. There was also uh, Udanis Haslam and Ricky Rubio. Uh, that only cost not much. It was like, how much was it? like three tokens or something really cheap. So we had the tokens for that. So we're able to get a Ruby and two Amethyst. I didn't need Ricky Rubio. So I sold him on the auction. Everything you don't need, sell it. If you want no money spent, you know, to get all the collector levels and stuff like that is definitely going to be hard. But if you're not worried about it, sell everything you don't have because you don't need it. If you're not going for the collection level reward. Kobe Bryant, Amethyst, Kobe Bryant, was again another locker code. Absolutely huge dub, clutch pack, got a free amethyst. Out of all the locker codes we got, man, like, yeah, again, 20 codes, probably around 10 of those, or roughly 10 of those were from prize packs. We were able to get a Clay Thompson and a Kobe Bryant. Now, that doesn't mean that it's gonna happen for you, but in this situation with me and, this, and the owner of this account, we were able to get lucky with a Kobe Bryant and a Clay Thompson for absolutely free. Now, DeMar DeRozan, there was DeMar DeRozan, there was Derek Coleman, and Tony Parker, I'm pretty sure, 
was that other My Team Festival pack that cost 40 tokens. Now, we didn't have 40 tokens, but because of that pack that you could buy in the token market, it completely destroyed the value of those cards. And Demar Rosen is a really solid card. He can shoot, he can dunk, he can do a little bit of everything. He's a really good offensive player, so I thought to pick him up, I think he was like 8,000 MT, which is not much. I thought he'd make a nice fit on the squad. And again, we have Udanis Haslam. We got him the same way as Steph Curry. Now, Steph Curry has a great jump shot and still a good three-point stat. So he's a great point guard coming off the bench. Udanis Haslam, just a big man to have. And Shaq is for that locker code, Bryant to Shaq. Um, it's just a big man, pretty much just filling in the spot, but it is a Shaquille O'Neal. It is a seven foot two, or however tall he is, a uh, big man. So he's a good filler center to have for now. And that is how we got the entire squad. Now about some MT making methods, we have the exchange. Now, if you're not interested in any of the players from the exchange, it happened when we got this pink diamond Elfin Haynes. And now that we have an Elton brand, Cards, you need four Sapphire Zion Williamson's for this Elton brand, and you need four Emerald Jar Morant's. So that means that these cards, Emerald Jar Morant and Sapphire Zion Williamson, have gone up in price. Not by a lot. Jar Morant has taken a solid boost. Zion, not too much, but I was able to sell a Zion on this account for about 4,000 MT, which is more than what he was. Clippers players are not going to go up in value because they have to be original owner Clipper players. So you have to get them from packs, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, diamond cards, ruby cards, they're not going to go up, you know, because there's so many diamonds and rubies. It could just be any diamond or ruby card, so it doesn't matter. But when it's a specific card like Emerald Jama Rant or Sapphire Zion Williamson, that will boost up the price because with the Elvin Haynes, you need an Andre Drummond, two Andre Drummonds and an Amethyst James Harden, their value exploded on the market and they were so expensive. I think Andre Drummond went to 40,000 MT. Looking at Emerald Jar Morant right here, you can see 100K, 100K, 40K. I think he does get cheaper. 14,000 for, for an Emerald card. 10,000, that's pretty cheap. You could even try and buy some of these, like try and snipe a cheap jar. Like you could buy like I hypothetically could buy this Jar Morant for 10K, relist him for 13 and make a little bit of a profit if that's what you wanted to do. But the way to make MT is just if you're not interested in that pink diamond card from the exchange, but you have this Jar Morant, go ahead and send him to the auction. If you open up some packs and pull a Jar Morant, don't quick sell him, send him to the auctions and sell him for that decent amount of money. Now we go over to Zion as well right now. And you'll see right here, his value has gone up. You see four and a half right there. Again, he hasn't gone up as much as Jar Morant, but you can still sell a Zion Williamson card Sapphire for only about 4,000 MT, which is really good for the type. His price has gone down a bit, but I think I was able to sell mine for four. Um, but still, 3K for a Sapphire is really, really good. Now, I was able to sell some things on this account. Everything from, this is a this is a bronze badge right there, 4,000 MT. Bronze Intimidator badge for 8,000 MT. I sold the Zion Williamson for two and a half, which is kind of low, but it is still better than what it was. Um, Bobby Jones, just cards that, yeah, I don't need. We just sold. So, yeah, we opened up the pack to get the Udanis Haslam, Ricky Rubio, and Steph Curry. Didn't need the Ricky, Ricky Rubio. So, I sold him for 1.000 MT. Um, ornament balls as well. They quick sell for 1 MT, but they're literally selling on the auction house for 1,000 MT. So, if you got some ornament balls, send them to the auction, sell, put them up for 1,000 MT each. You put up 10, that's 10,000 MT. Now, something we want to do with this squad is pick up the uh, Flash Diamond Kevin Durant and the new Amethyst Serge Ibaka because they have a dynamic duo which turns Serge Ibaka into a diamond card and that'd be really good running those right here. But kind of got to sell someone, unfortunately. You know, I mean, I could sell... Kobe or Clay, I need about 70k total because Durant's around 40 to 50k, Serge is around that 20k mark. So we need around 70,000 MT. Um, yeah, and I don't really want to sell these Amethyst cards because I need them because they are shooting guards. I need I need shooting guards on the squad. But so I and I don't really want to sell these rubies yet, and they only sell for about they sell for like 
I think Giannis is about 15, LeBron's around nine. So they're not really worth selling. So KD is selling for 50K. That's that's kind of tough. What's, we'll see what Serge is selling for. And Serge is selling for pretty much 20K. He's just, just under it. So yeah, we need 70K total. So to get that, we might have to sell that Kobe and Clay Thompson because I just don't want to sell those rubies just yet. So we're selling Clay Thompson and Kobe Bryant for a total of around 50K. So that'll give us five, six, seven, eight. That'll give us enough MT to buy the Kevin Durant and Sergi Bucca dynamic duo and add them onto the squad. Alrighty guys, so we sold the Clay Thompson and the Kobe Bean Bryant for, we got an extra roughly 50K in the bank now and that's gonna give us, it should be more than enough to uh, actually get the cards we need now. While we waited for that stuff to sell, I ended up doing that challenge to get a free Idols Kevin Durant pack. If we get the pink diamond KD, we're not gonna need the diamond one or the Sergi Bucca. Something's actually shaking right there. My heart's kind of stopped. What? <laughs> what? This is no money spent this account. Why is this not mine? Why is this not my account? You have got to be kidding me. Yo, it, this is Kevin Durant. Oh my God. I was actually waiting for my 28,000 MT Kobe to sell. Did the challenge and I got a free pink diamond. It's either MJ or Kevin Durant. Subscribe to the channel right now with your notification bell turned on and hit that freaking like button. Please be Durant. I will happily take a Kevin Durant. It's Kevin Durant. It's Kevin Durant for free. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am shocked. I am seriously, seriously shocked. One thing I just realized as well is I think the dynamic duo, I think I got that completely wrong. I think you need the pink diamond Kevin Durant, but I just got a free Kevin Durant and it's not even my account. This is not my account. That kind of sucks, but it's awesome for the video. We just got a free pink diamond. Yeah, that's what the duo is. I got I got mixed up. It doesn't matter anyway. I'm not going to buy the diamond Kevin Durant because we're going to add the pink diamond Kevin No money spent. Are you serious? We're still going to pick up this Serge Ibaka because I want him on the squad. The Diamond Kevin Durant does have a duo. I thought it was this Serge Ibaka, but I obviously just got mixed up with the Pink Diamond one, but it doesn't matter because we got the Pink Diamond Kevin Durant now. So what we're going to do now is replace AD for Serge. We're going to go like that, which is going to turn Serge Ibaka into a Diamond. We're going to put LeBron there. I still need a shooting guard. We're going to get rid of Shaq. I still need a shooting guard to replace this D wave, but we got 60 KMT, so we're gonna be able to afford someone pretty good. We're gonna pick up Pink Diamond Brandon Roy and add him to the squad. I love Brandon Roy cards, a lot of fun. Man, this is such an amazing and no money spent. Like, this is ridiculous. And that is gonna end the video right there. This is one weekend of grinding. Not even grinding, it's just punching in locker codes, did an easy challenge. I got a free Pink Diamond Kevin Durant. I got a free Amethyst Kobe and Clay Thompson, which we sold, picked up Brandon Roy, Sergi Bucca Dynamic Duo, Diamond Ja Morant. It is really unfortunate that this is not my account, but I'm so happy for the account holder of this account, man. This is absolutely incredible. Gonna wrap it up, guys. If you want more no money spent tips, I mean... Take a look at the squad, man. I think we figured something out with this one, guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notification bell turned on and drop this video a like right now. And I'll catch you guys on the next upload. It's been witnessed.